You are mighty, you are supreme, you are holy, you are God. There is none like you, oh my God. We praise you, we glorify you, we magnify your holy name. We exalt you, oh my God. We glorify your holy name. We magnify your holy name, O oh great Jehovah. There is none like you, my Lord, my God, my Father, our Maker, our Redeemer. Saints of God, open your mouth. Thank Him for the gift of life. Oh. Thank him that you are alive and well. Don't take it for granted. People were buried yesterday and today. Lift up your voice and say, Thank you for the gift of life. Continue to bless me with long life, and I will serve you as long as I live. Yes. Pray somebody. Pray somebody. Thank him for the gift of salvation. The forgiveness of our sin. What a mighty God we say. Gracious, merciful Jehovah. We thank you, our Father. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of salvation. Thank you so much for adopting us, Lord, to become your sons, your daughters. We through the precious blessed Holy Spirit. Mamoya wako lomende waba i DNA lensha lelange cutting it. Live la quality says bashanga nyele bugulungulu. Partakers of the divine nature, the nature of God. You have deposited your nature in us in the person of the Holy Ghost. People of God, can you appreciate who you are? Great work has been done in my life and your life. We are no longer ordinary. Accessible ababesngibo. Before we came to Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, If a person be in Christ, that person is a new creation. Thank you, Father, for what you have done for us. Thank you so much, Lord, that we now belong to you. You belong to us. We are born again. We are together with the Holy Spirit. We have the Word of God as a manual for tackling, dealing with daily issues of life. Which means we can't walk in confusion now. No wonder your word says you have given us all things that pertain to this life. We declare even in this gathering that God is our Father. Can someone declare with me, say, God is my Father. God is my Father. God is my Father. God is my Father. Jehovah I belong to Jesus I now. Jesus. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus is my Savior. Jesus Jesus man. Jesus man. Jesus man. Jesus man. I'm together with the Holy Spirit. I'm together with the Holy Spirit. My special help. My special help. Say I'm powerful. powerful. Oh my God. We are powerful. No wonder the Bible Bible says we're a chosen generation. a royal priesthood. Sibebu kosiba sezului. A holy nation. We are 
bearers of the divine order. What do you mean, Apostle? Si pete bunguluku. Puta makaran ubu pete non pete ksanga na ne kwesaba. Si pete bunguluku. Lobu nye lobu so ya mbo na mdane bandu te mholo tile tinginga. Tanu pete bunguluku no mholo tua tinginga. Which is which? Tanu nye abuza. Hallelujah. Pila naste sotwe nbanda to kunju tonga be kasnel viki. Tinginga te benda bakotwe. Tiba shayu mbuni nshwa ngena la tsa ngene lo mdu. Tinginga be te mkasa wazwa kotwa tsu mba nsana moda ne konkara. Tanu nye mangoba ngomobi. Because I'm together with the Holy Spirit. You think the Holy Spirit is a failure. Holy Spirit is God himself. When he's on the inside of me and you, failure must be dealt with decisively. Say, greater is he that is in me. Hey, mkulu lo hamba na ame. Sani makero ni msu mkotwa no lenge kati. Sani wano buka kakulu nga panje. Besu kotwa nge kati. E manja nge kati. Power is on the inside. Where is power? I didn't hear you. Where is power? Agu pe manja. Power is on the inside. So when you face difficult problems, you depend on the power on the inside. Uti, this storm will not take me out. Yes, this Lord. problem will not defeat me. Yes. This attack will not prevail. Uti lo kula ngege kunge shule. Lo kusasele ngege kunge shule. La mastoms la fugile ngege kukule. Why greater is he? Oh, oh yes Lord. It is on the inside of me. Jesus. Sisembilwe la. Tindwa tiende gala. Sani mkulu longa gimi. Sani makilwane be careful when. Ubugebu wiki langa pande. Kanzi inguli mbilo pegene na ayo. Sani kinu beli socha wena. Lobu sop kombi se. Kutulungele guluela nilo tako. Lobu sop kombi se. Kutulungele kwenti mbilo ya kipumelele. Lobu sop kombi se. Kuta usali kulaba pumelele ago. Ukichima na abo. Ha! Hey! Jesus! Brethren, life is very rough. You need to be aggressive. Do you hear this? You need to be what? Aggressive. Very aggressive. Say, Father, I announce. Lord, I announce. That no matter what comes before me, doesn't change. That one day, one adopter, adopted me, one tata, took me, one talagabush, one endum drana, one made me your son. La Palal Kamala, name was written in what's in your sesulu, the book of heaven. I'm here on earth, but I'm sesia wala, not of the year. Sing sit down. I'm a new creation. Father God, I thank you very much. That is I am now yours. The Holy Spirit. Come and live inside of me. To be my power. New power. To conquer things. Give me a way. Which is the mighty one. For dealing with situations that I face. Wasu ya nkaza Kuti jengo bangtelwe gabusha Senye alingoba lelifu Niti yebo nkosha Nijalo fele Negutalwa gabusha Neguba wako chehova Neguba na moindwe Senye ngumangoba Ngumangobi wetimo Noma ngakufugani I am ready Nasha langulunge Begana nale simu Jesus. Hey. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Say I belong to Jesus. Say I love you, Jesus. You are mine, I am yours. Forever and ever. Say I'm a new creation. I'm born again. I'm more than a conqueror. Let's go to the word of God. Obadiah 1.17. Put it for us in the new King James. Obadiah 1.17. Slobo City. Deliverance and prosperity is guaranteed. My title is Kukululega Nembumelelo. So, Felectini Segisi. Deliverance and prosperity for you is guaranteed. As long as you want want it. it. I'm now reading. But on Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Highlight a lot deliverance. I like the word deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Now, there are three words that are coming out of this verse. There are three things coming out of the verse. They go in sequence. Number one, we are told that on Mount Zion, remember this is a prophetic writing. The church of today and where we gather today is prophetically and spiritually called Mount Zion. Are you in the house? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. So when you come to the house of the Lord and become a Christian, the gathering of Christians are called Mount Zion. Amen. Amen. Maybe let's go to Hebrews chapter 12. As soon as one, two, three, go. Let's read. But you have come to Mount Zion. Where? To the city of the living God. So Lapax a holy city, city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. So these are all names of the church. To an innumerable company of angels. There are angels. Each and every Christian has got an angel backing. In case you didn't know, there's no Christian who doesn't have a guardian angel. Go to the next one. Number two. Go to the next one. To the general assembly of the church of the firstborn. Are we not the assembly of the church? Church of the firstborn. Who is the firstborn? Hey, Who is the firstborn? Jesus. Who are registered in heaven? All of us who are Christians, our names are registered in heaven. Hey. But to our church of the firstborn, who is the firstborn? Revelations 1.5. And from Jesus, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. So if only firstborn, God. And the ruler over the kings of the earth. The one who loved us. And washed us from our sins. In his blood. So the church is Mount Zion. We are the church of the firstborn. Jesus was the first one. Jesus was the first one. Amen. Amen. To experience the new birth. He died with a corruptible body. He rose with a body that is uncorruptible. All members that who have buried their bodies are decaying in the grave, but there's a body waiting for them. When the trumpet sounds, they'll put on that new body. Amen. 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 Am I helping somebody? 
So say welcome to Mount Zion. Let's quickly go back now to the verse, our key verse, Obadiah 1.7. Say I'm a Mount Zion citizen. I'm a Mount Zion citizen. Use your hand like this. Say I'm a Mount Zion citizen. So we are now told with what I've showed you the quick background. We are now told that once you become a Mount Zion person. What must you expect? What must happen to you? Number one is counted deliverance. In Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. The deliverance according to my teaching it must be happening twofold. Write it down. It's guaranteed. Jesus made it possible for me and for you to experience that deliverance. That's why he said in John 10.10 10, he says I Jesus came so that you might have life so that you might have freedom in other words. Say freedom is guaranteed. Say deliverance is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Amen. So you need to experience deliverance in the two levels. Deliverance from sin, condemnation or deliverance from being regarded as a sinner before God. How does that happen? The moment you accept Jesus to say Jesus I confess you as my Lord and my Savior and I welcome you into my life. The moment you do that, your sins are removed. The sin record is taken away. And God clothes you with a new identity, new condition that is called the righteousness of God. Am I helping you? And when God clothes you with that garment of righteousness, which you can't see with your eyes, when God declares you righteous, it means you are no longer regarded as a cursed person. You are declared the blessed. 2 Corinthians 5 21. It says, This God made Jesus, took his holy Jesus, made him sin by laying our sins on him so that you and me may be discharged completely acquitted from the sins you committed and the guilt of those sins and the consequences of the sins so that we might become the righteousness of God. How did God do this? 1 Peter 2.24 I love that verse so much. Especially if you read it in the New Living Translation. It says this Jesus carried on personally personally carried my sins justice so that the devil loses the right to accuse me of my sins powerful say powerful clap for Jesus say powerful listen let me speak to somebody don't make the finished work of Calvary weaker than the witchcraft of your family. The witchcraft of your family, the problems of your family were totally overpowered by the finished work of Calvary. The question is, do you believe in your problems more 
Do you believe in witchcraft more than you believe in what Jesus did? It's a question. Ask your neighbor to see a boot. Put a macaron and say, We are asking you to boost your back up your solis. Your face makes you want to know where Saba Batagati more than what you feel. Who is that more than you? You trust the word of God. When Jesus declared at 3 p.m. at 3 p.m. Over 2,000 years ago, 3 p.m., according to John 19.30, he said, it is finished. What? It's a short verse. It is, he cried out and said, it is finished. Meaning every problem that was supposed to follow me justice and follow you there because of sins that you committed, I committed. And, uh, no, and because of it. sins that were committed by the, the founders, our parents, no, no, when he said it. it is finished, it. he was saying full penalty pay. New way opened. Are you hearing in the house? The full payment is paid. New way open. It's up to you then. Salvation is like what they do in the restaurants. They cook various foods. And then they put it on the table. They serve them the cook. They put the various stews and everything. The roasted meat. All the desserts. And then they open the door. The guests will pay the money to come in. They say you will just dish whatever you want. That is what Jesus did. He set up a buffet at Golgotha. Buffet, your healing is there. Yes. Your deliverance is there. Yes. Your peace is there. Yes. Your coming out of poverty is there. Yes. Those things are listed. Isaiah 53, 53 verse 5. five. He was wounded for our transgression. Transgression is rebellion. And our iniquities. And iniquities. The various kinds of sin. It's all in one. He was pierced. Nails were put through his head for and you nails. to have guaranteed deliverance. Look how he was punished. They had to put a crown of thorns on his head. And the thorns had to pierce his skull. He was paying for your all the evil thoughts that you think. His hands, rusty nails, but the 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 nails. Why danger? The things you do, even the stealing. Hands represent the sinful habits. Another long nail was taken and put through his foot. Why? Because they walk with their feet to commit sin. He was delivering the whole person. I bet deliver. They nailed him open. And his head, his head was facing up. His hands Why opened. Why was he put in this position? The reason is to He was opening for the people on earth to the heavens. For his hands to be opened. He was dying reconciliation between people. So that people can live amongst others. Jesus. And say, hold each other. Stop fighting. Jesus.
Deliverance is guaranteed. But the son friend without understanding this. Coming to church You might be a church going safara. Holy revelation. We are busy God asking God. for prayer instead of getting a revelation. Because once you understand how you are troubled, you tell sickness and problems enough is enough. He can't die like this. So that he can free me and then you start playing with me. He says you shall know the truth. He say you shall know the, the truth will make you free. So you take the things I'm teaching and tell your neighbor next to you. Say listen neighbor. From what I now understand, you will be the only one struggling. I'm getting out of trouble. Because my father you will be left there alone. We are about Isaiah, we are itemizer. We are Bala Isaiah. Now I'm explaining. I'm explaining. It. He was punished. They gave him vinegar to drink. So that will be so dehydrated. In order to bring peace between God and human beings. So that when you pray, God gladly accepts you. Though you've got a terrible sin record, but God says, I accept you gladly. Because the price was paid for you by somebody over 2,000 years ago. The verse 5 concludes by saying, by the wounds, when the Roman soldiers were scourging and scourging, him. They teared it until veins were in the open. Guaranteeing your healing. So that whenever you say, I refuse to be sick because someone was wounded for me to be healed. I know too much to be stressed. I know too much to be taken for granted. I know too much to be taken for granted. I know too much. Do I have people who know too much here? Then I know too much. Warning, warning, warning. This information I'm giving you, it will test you. You can listen to the sermon today. Who right? Who okay? While well, you are okay in right. Demons are hearing that I'm telling you this. Come Wednesday. Out of the blue. You get a terrible sickness. Heaven will also be watching. Is he going to the to the scaffolding where the apostle was teaching? Instead, you take the God phone and ask comes angry at you. Immediately. Such that he can even let you die. Why? Let you die because of irresponsibility. What do you mean? You have information. But you don't want to use it in that situation. It's called irresponsibility. Negligence and rebellion. Take your seat. Shall and pass. Jesus. Your right, write this thing down. Your right to be forgiven all your sins was secured and paid for by Jesus. When you say, Jesus, I have just committed a sin. Please forgive me. You are not forgiven only because you are confessing. Yes, you must confess. But you are forgiven given on account of the one who paid. If you decide after confessing 
Now that no one for both me. You decide to go for days. Say, I'm afraid to even go to church. This thing that I did, you are entertaining condemnation. The name of it is disobedience. The name of it is unbelief. The moment you confess, you now walk in freedom. You begin to announce why you are so excited. Said, because Jesus made it possible for me to be forgiven whenever I sin. So you come to church confidently. If you walk in condemnation, you are violating the Bible. And this is not licensed to go and sin. Because there's, there's another verse. If you sin deliberately, after you know the truth and persist in sinning, the Bible says you are nailing Jesus again on the cross. And you will pay. So the Bible says sinning is not a problem. But sinning stubbornly and perpetually is a big problem. Did you hear what I've just said? Write that one down. Because there's no human being who does not commit things that are contrary to the word of God. And the Bible says in all those things, sin is there. When I say to you, walk in the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is not to say, no, the fear of the Lord is to refuse to take him for granted. What is to take God for granted is to see a verse telling you, don't do this, but you continuously do it. You are regarded as people who don't fear God. Am I communicating? So your forgiveness is guaranteed. Jesus guaranteed it over 2,000 years ago. The moment you come to Mount Zion, which is the church, there's the shower of the blood waiting that is ready to wash away those sins. And it will continue to cleanse you as you respectfully acknowledge what was done at God. Till Jesus comes back. Number two, your healing from sickness attacks was guaranteed. All these things are conditional. It's guaranteed if you will walk in the truth. If you will stand and say, yes, I know. Jesus paid the price for me to be healed. And you say in the name of Jesus, I command this pain to go. Because of what was done at Golgotha. This body was painful. That it should remain Pains go. It's called fighting the good fight of faith. It's the only fight that is called a good fight. Maybe you wonder what do you mean, Apostle? First Timothy 6 12. Fight. The good fight of faith. So when you are a Christian now, write this thing down. You are responsible. Holy Spirit, help me please. Listen. Not apostle justice. You are responsible for enforcing fighting for what Jesus secured for you to become literal in your life. It means if the Bible says Jesus delivered you, acquitted you from your sins. Every day you fight for your, for your peace. You don't allow yourself to feel condemned or to walk in condemnation. So when you feel that, that feeling of condemnation, immediately you say, this is wrong. 
I'm in Christ now. I'm not supposed to walk in condemnation. Romans 8 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who don't walk according to fleshly inclinations. Who don't walk according to what they see or hear people say, but who walk by the Spirit and the Word of God. Are you in the house? Say I will never feel condemned. And I will never take God for granted. Say my deliverance is guaranteed. So if you are here, you are a victim of sin. You are in addiction. You are wasting money in drugs and alcohol. You are in sin bondage. Jesus made it possible for you to walk into your freedom. And save the money. Say freedom is mine. Open your mouth and thank God. Say freedom is mine. Say I will never walk in condemnation. Then we come to healing. I told you the devil may attack you after today. This leads me to another serious statement. Write it down. Giving your life to Jesus does not mean the end of problems. I need to say this again. Giving your life to Jesus. Becoming a member of worship center. Getting baptized in water. And starting to speak in tongues. Does not mean you are now out of problems. Problems come upon every human being on the face of the earth. The only advantage you have. Is that. Now that you have accepted Jesus, you have got power to rise above your problems. You've got hope when things are really tough because of Jesus. You know why Christians continue now? We are in my Christa to be victims of evil spirits. While we are sleeping, now this one is troubled by ticolosis. Another one is troubled by epilepsy. They fall. Then people are like, I'm telling a man, hey, then all they come forward. it must happen while we are still ignorant. Bakubam, the Bakfage, Bakfage, Scotola, what to Luma. Because who sang a car, it's at that moment you so know the it. So the moment you become okay, the at that moment you know it. At that moment you become okay. Let's catch this over, guys. The Bakoka, hey, who pins a wow. And they tell you, you feel like okay. Fagas God. And then we have to put that look. Who's that devil is mistaken? Who's who and then who pins a wow? He caused me to fall. Say, I mean, Say my Say epilepsy. Say epilepsy. Not after today. Jesus came. He paid the price for me to be delivered from such nonsense. In the name of Jesus and by the authority of Luke 10 19. Let's go to Luke 10. You know why Christians are suffering? We are Christians Laziness to apply the word. Uh-huh. Even if I pray for you, no man Uti uh, apostle, say apostle, you prayed for me. But these things, but he, men of God, he after church I slept. And the whole week, Lufigilonge. it was not there. At the matrimon, you, you will see. The demon say you stay born. Because the devil will never leave you alone <laughs> until you use your own faith. There's a man who was prayed for by another man of God in America. It was a woman. This woman had cancer. So the man of God prayed for him. She got healed. Then eight years later, 
Remember, she's still a member of the church. Another cancer came. The man of God now shares a testimony. You shiver. When she he was, he wanted to pray for the woman. A voice from heaven said, "Don't pray for her. She, she must now use the information she has. She must use the teachings you were giving her. And if she doesn't use those teachings, get ready to bury her." I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. Two things I said. Accepting Jesus does not mean your problems have ended. Number two I said. Christians are suffering. Because of their laziness, their refusal to use the word that has been taught to them. Don't forget these words. Problems will always be there. But first John 5 4 will always be there too. What does it say? In the New Living Translation. All those who have become children of God. They defeat this world. Evil. This world is evil. There shall be wizards always. There will be people who will be jealousing you. Talking bad about you. But if they talk bad about you, you don't become bad in your feelings. You shake it off. Because you know this is a test for my faith. Every child of God defeats all the problems. Because they will always be there. How do you defeat them? Taking the sword of the spirit. Which is the word of God. Write this one down. Because your deliverance won't happen until you are delivered in your mind. How do you get delivered in your mind? You, you Fill your mind with knowledge to say no matter what attacks me, no matter the bad things that are happening, now that I'm a child of God, there's one order for me, overcoming, overcoming, look at it in the New Living Trans, in the, in the New King James. Whosoever is born of God overcomes. Say, I overcome. Hallelujah. Amen. So when problems are coming, no, you don't respond in fear. You say, Welcome problems. I want to hear you now. Say, Welcome problems. Say, I know problems. I know attacks. You will always be there. You will always rise up against me. But welcome to somebody who knows. Too much. Say welcome. Say attackers welcome. Sickness attack welcome. Koloshi welcome. Sugumuti welcome problem. Even if you lose your job, listen to me. Christians can lose their jobs. Heaven is not worried. You have all it takes. To create another job. How do you create it? You say, Father, my tither. <laughs> Before I lost my job, I was a tither. Number two, I'm a child of Papa God. Just as a father makes a plan for his children, my Papa God will open another door for me. Number three, you say in the name of Jesus people are getting employed every week I now command a door to open for me when, Je when God was creating this earth the Bible says he later came 
Hallelujah. He found darkness everywhere. It's like losing your job. You were working a few months. Now you are not working. It's your darkness. Did God complain about the darkness? He spoke. He said, let there be light. You say, Father, I need a job in company A, B, C, D. There are five in total. One of them must take me. What? Remember what the Bible says. He purchased us by the blood. Revelations chapter 5 verse 9. He redeemed us by the blood. After redeeming us, what did he do? He made us kings. What do, what do kings do? They issue orders. They issue orders. Let's put it simpler. Kings make commands. Fix this, we are going this week. By it. And they say by it. Azanga when that kelum tandas. He made you a king. Come for prayer. He made you a king. That's where your problem begins. Heaven has made you a king. But you make yourself kelum And have made us what? He has made us what? And what? Nani? To who? Kuban. It means wherever you are in life, in that job, in your your, your community, wherever you are, you are a representative of the interest and the order of heaven. Because I'm the one who's fighting for the order. That the will of God Not the will of God. No! You rise as an angry woman and say, what is this witchcraft in this home? What is all this? What is all this? You are a king. And you know what happens when a king issues an order and it's not carried out. It's a big problem. Those who fail to carry out the order is trouble for them because it's not allowed. Once a king speaks, it's not a king speaks, things must happen. Yes, 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 y
umelele. In my family, I represent everyone who is not yet born again. I help them to conquer the works of Satan. Pray, 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 pray. Say, Father, every spirit of failure, every spirit of failure in general life, by the blood of Jesus, I terminate it now. By the power of the finished work of Calvary, I terminate it now. In the name of Jesus, who see every sickness attack, all evil spirit attack, when I'm sleeping at night, I command a stop in the name of Jesus. Look at Luke 10.19. Libra Hashanda Kamasa. I really want to address that point I made. Why Christians continue to suffer though they claim that they love the Lord. It's a lie to say you love the Lord yet you are in perpetual suffering. It's a lie to say you love the Lord but you refuse to do the word. Jesus said if you love me you will obey my word. How come my servant is teaching you and you are not doing the word and there you make a claim that you love me. Nothing like that. If you truly love Jesus, love to use his word. Love to speak his word. Because you love him and you believe in him. Sakalinda, look at that. Behold, I give you the authority. When was this authority given? Over 2,000 years ago. What is authority? It is the special right given to an individual to exercise power over a situation. I have a situation. I don't go to ask for prayers. I use the word of God. I exercise authority by the instrument of the word of God to fight that situation until it bows. <laughs> because the word of God is like a hammer. <laughs> it will hammer that problem. Problem. It will paralyze that problem. So no matter what you are going through, keep on speaking the word. Keep on speaking the word. Join me, say I will keep on speaking the word. In my position as a king, keep on speaking the word. Graduate. Stop speaking the problem. Don't talk about the pain. Talk about what was done. Talk about Jesus who was wounded for you to be healed. Stop talking about curses. Talk about the finished work of Calvary. Stop talking about wizards. Talk about what was done. Stop talking about problems and about poverty. Say I'm rich. Are you sure? Say I'm rich. Listen, let me make this big one. Until you are delivered from mental bondage, from failure to see yourself the right way. Not see yourself according to the problem. But see yourself according to what God says about you as a child of God. Until you begin to see yourself the right way. And sorry things will never become right for you. Why? The Bible says as a person thinks so shall his or her life be. If you think you will never get a job good you will never get it. If you think you are sick and this sickness is stubborn very good that sickness will never go. If you think people don't like you it's good they will continue to hate you. Why? You are the one who caused the problem. Oh pastor what do you mean? Job 15.6 mm -hmm. Job 15.6 Funza, Funza, Slalele, one, two, three, go. Funza lap. Ulasha, Timmy. Ulasha, Ulasha, 
Say, don't trouble the apostle. Go see him. Let's all rise to Funza. Funza, one, two, three, go. So that we read again. Funza. Matthew, Old Testament, Matthew 12, 36. I say Matthew 12, 36. I know it's there. Matthew 12, 36. Yes, what? Mm-hmm. After coma, one, two, three, go. As fun then. Bandu, bayaudi lanza, ngaoonge, emagama, lalite, laba wakuluma. In lite. Let's worship center. Let's get five years later. Five years old. Apostle, you man of Which verse is that? Matthew twelve thirty six. 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 Matthew twelve I'll deal with them. I'll use the food that you always give to us. And you rise in anger. That's why that you are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not Lift up your hand. Lepra. So this week as you go, stop talking the negatives. Stop announcing the problem. Announce the word of victory. I, I like this. <laughs> Don't announce the problem. When you feel like talking about the problem, because it's a habit, stop yourself and say that devil is a liar. I will get that joke. Come and whisper to you. They say in that company they don't have you. I say, by the way, you I know who I am. Because I'm a child of the most high God. Lift up your hands and pray. Victory is guaranteed. Say, I will have money. I will never be broke again. I will never fail again. I will never struggle again. I will never be a victim of sickness again. Okay. Say peace is mine. Happiness is mine. Say peace is mine. It was guaranteed by Jesus. Say healing is mine. It was guaranteed by Jesus. Say success is mine. It was guaranteed by Jesus. Say poverty is not my portion. Being rich is my portion. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Look. 19 say I give you the authority. So what must you do? If heaven has given you the authority, it says this authority is for trembling. There's an attack. You don't literally use your, your shoes, but you use the weight of fix. You crush that thing. <laughs> you fight that thing. Open your mouth and fight everything that is fighting you. Open your mouth and say yes. Yes, Lord. No more stagnation. No more failure. This is sickness. I crush you. Pains. I destroy you. Decolosis. I crush you. Failure. I destroy you. I am a winner. I am an overcomer. Move and say I am a winner. I am an overcomer. I am a winner. I am an overcomer. I am born of God. I'm a child of God. My name is written in heaven. I can't go down. I can only rise in life. Say, I rise. I shine. I rise. I shine. Say, I, I overcome. Say, I break through. Say, from today.
Say from today, every breakthrough I want, I will make it using my mouth in the word of victory. Say I am created in God's image. I also have power to create my breakthroughs by faith, by the word of God, by stubbornness, fighting the good fight of faith. In the name of Jesus, were you blessed by the word? Put your hands above the head and say, thank you, Jesus. Please thank you, Jesus, for what you did for us at Golgotha, for what you did for us at Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for making me an overcome. Thank you, Jesus, for making me an overcome. Thank you, Jesus, that through you, I always overcome. I'm born of God. I am an overcome. I am an overcomer. I'm born of God. I am an overcomer. Let's see all problems. Welcome. I'm ready for you to deal with you using the word of power, the word of God, which is a hammer. Say from today, I'm a creator. I will create my healing using the word. I will create my breakthrough using the word. I will create sleeping peace at night using the word I will create money when I need it using the word and doing the word thank you Jesus